It is my distinct honor and my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the Austrian Culture Forum New York tonight for the opening of the exhibition Erich Lessing, Andrew Mitzwinski, the Jewish Museum Vienna on 52nd Street. It is not only the privilege, but indeed uh, the explicit uh, mission of this institution to present the very best of contemporary artists and art from our country here in New York and also in all the, of the United States at large. It's a great pleasure for us to be able to present the work, the work of two outstanding artists here at the Austrian Cultural Forum in New York, Erich Lessing and Andrew Mesinski. These two great personalities have very much in common, but also at the same time less in common. Linking Erich Lessing's and Andrew Mesinski's work, we do not only present two different artistic positions and generations. Here are two Jewish artists who are unquestionably Weltbürger, Citoyen du Monde, world citizens, and who at the same time consider Vienna and Austria their very special home. When Daniel Sperer suggested the concept for the exhibition last year, I was blown away by the idea of casting a spotlight in the year of Remembrance 2015 on the works of a photographer who has always been driven by the desire to capture time, especially capture history as it happens. This exhibition links historical and Jewish memory with a very personal, familiar approach. Austrian history meets family history. I took great pleasure of choosing the photos from my father's oeuvre of 40,000 pictures. I had suspected it might be difficult to tell my father that he had no say in my selection. To my astonishment, he accepted the position with a nonchalant smile. Very brief, I just would like to take the opportunity to thank two women for their work, not only for making this exhibition possible, but also for all they are doing in Austria and for being representatives of a very modern and vital Jewish community in Vienna. I would like to start with, um, with Daniel Sperra. Daniel Sperra has managed it that under her leadership, the Jewish Museum in Vienna became the, in focus, not only in Austria, but also internationally. And I would like to congratulate you that this exhibition will not only be shown here in New York, but also in Washington and in LA. And the second person I would like to mention is Hannah Lessing. I think we all see that the fact that uh, you are here today and uh, presenting the work of your father as a curator is very touching for all of us. I appreciate Eric Lessing in a particular way because when I started to work in politics, Photography was a very important instrument to transport uh, images and events. And in my opinion, there were in these days in Austria two extraordinary photographers. One was a lady and one was a man. The lady was Barbara Pflaum, uh, an incredible talent with her role I flex. Uh, being obviously everywhere where something happened and the man was Erich Lessing with his impressive biography with, with his historic photographs from the State Treaty in May 1955 and many, 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 many other pictures so to say telling the story of the Second Republic and many other stories. Uh, to be present in New York with such examples of photography and art is a very good image for Austria. And once again, I'm happy that you all here. Eric Kendall is also here. And uh, a witness of uh, new developments in Austria after more complicated and darker periods after 45. And so we are a big family here. And I wish you well and together with the Foreign Minister, I declare this exhibition open. I think that in addition to this extraordinary exhibition, I think we should celebrate Hans Fischer's presence with us. 
it may not be obvious to you, but I'm Jewish, and it may also not be obvious to you, I'm Viennese. When I first came back to Vienna, which I left in 1939, in the 1960s and 1970s, I felt extremely uncomfortable in Vienna. The single person who's changed my attitude toward Austria is Heinz Fischer. He has been a remarkable leader of the Austrian government, a fantastic president, and he's really changed the way all of us feel about Austria. And I'm very much in his debt, and I want to use this opportunity for all of us to be able to thank him on this occasion. Jews of Vienna, thank Heinz Fischer.